The following is an automated demonstration of IntelliVote's e-voting system that provides an example of an online e-voting session. To begin, the elector will refer to their voter instruction letter received in the mail for the IntelliVote e-voting website address to access the online vote. Upon entering the site, the voter is presented with the Human Interface Challenge, also known as a CAPTCHA challenge. This is designed to eliminate automated applications from accessing the voting system. The Human Interface Challenge requires a voter to recognize the characters in the image and enter the characters into the box provided below. Next, the voter will enter their unique personal identification number found in their voter instruction letter. Upon validation, the voter is welcome to the election. This welcome message advises the voter what ballots they are eligible for and what ballots, if any, have been won by acclamation. The voter is now ready to begin voting. The first ballot is for mayor and has four candidates running. Voting instructions are displayed below the ballot title to let the voter know how many candidates may be selected. Following the instructions, the voter simply clicks the box next to the candidate of their choice marking an X in the box and clicks Submit. Once the voter has submitted their selection, they are provided with the opportunity to either confirm their selection by clicking Vote Now or return to the ballot to change their selection. In this example, the voter clicks Vote Now. A confirmation message is presented advising that the selection has been recorded. This confirmation is analogous to the voter dropping a ballot into the ballot box. At this point, the vote is final and cannot be changed. The voter then clicks continue to move on to the council ballot. In some municipal structures, several wards or districts make up the municipality, categorizing each elector into the respective ward or district based on where they reside. A PIN classification is created in the IntelliVote system based on the municipal structure, ensuring each elector receives the ballots correspondent to their electoral regions. In this example, the voter is presented with a councillor ballot specific to their district. The voter makes their selection by choosing the candidate of their choice, marking an X in the box as shown. In this example, the voter confirms their choice by clicking Vote Now and submitting their ballot. Each ballot is confirmed individually and is encrypted and securely transmitted to the e-voting application. The last ballot is for the school board election. Two candidates are running. The voter chooses a candidate and, as with previous ballots, submits and confirms their choice. When all ballots have been successfully voted in the e-voting application, the voter is provided with a summary of the voted ballots. The ballot summary is available to the voter throughout the e-voting period. And that concludes the demonstration of an example online e-voting session.